In honor of Valentine's Day, I have an incredibly special free gift to share with you. That's coming up next on the Wedding Planning Podcast. Before we dive into today's show, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Susan's Travel Services. Susan cannot wait to partner with you to plan your honeymoon, destination wedding, or maybe even your bachelor or bachelorette party. Susan and her team have been planning dream vacations for 27 years, and they are truly the best in the business for start to finish planning services. Travel and new experiences are really special to me, and Susan and her team have helped me plan some unforgettable vacations. I recommend her to all of my friends and family, and that's exactly why I share her amazing planning services with you each and every week here on the Wedding Planning Podcast. Susan's professional assistance in choosing location, resorts, activities, and transportation is absolutely priceless. Best of all, Susan has been in the business for 27 years. That's a really long time. She personally travels to all of her recommended destinations all the time. So she has firsthand on the ground experience with all of the amazing resorts, excursions, and services that she recommends. From all-inclusive resorts in Mexico and the Caribbean, overwater bungalow in the Maldives, or the African safari you've always dreamed of, Save yourself hours of research and guesswork and let Susan find you the best options for a once in a lifetime vacation. Reach out to Susan and her team today by emailing info at susanstravelservices.com and be sure to let her know that I sent you for $50 off your final booking or $200 off your destination wedding. Her email again is info at susanstravelservices.com And you'll also find a link to that in today's show notes. Enjoy. Welcome to this week's very special episode of the Wedding Planning Podcast. And thank you, as always, for carving out a few moments of your day to join me and talk all things wedding. L-O-V-E, love, is ultimately behind pretty much every single thing we discuss here on the Wedding Planning Podcast. So naturally, we need to do a little something special to celebrate Valentine's Day. Am I right? My number one priority in all of our time together is to help you design the wedding celebration that you want. Sounds really simple, and it is, but just because something is simple doesn't always mean it's easy. This is a universal truth that I see all the time in my real life, and it's especially true with wedding planning. Yes, in theory, it's simple. Forget what everyone else thinks, says, or does, and just plan your wedding according to what you and your partner want, what's important to you, and then tune the rest out. Simple. But in practice, it's a little more complicated than that. We all have nosy and opinionated families and friends. We have our jobs, school that we're finishing up, bills to pay, groceries to buy, laundry to fold, car maintenance to schedule, that dentist appointment that you've been putting off for months, and a million other responsibilities and obligations. The reality is that planning a wedding in the midst of real life is anything but simple. In fact, it can feel incredibly overwhelming at times, and in my years of experience helping engaged couples, those really common feelings of overwhelm, anxiety, paralysis by analysis, those are the root causes of the majority of issues and struggles that begin to unfold in the months leading up to your wedding day. And over the many years I've been doing this podcast, I have heard versions of that same story from hundreds of engaged couples. And that's why I created the Wedding Planning Podcast Engagement Starter Kit. The Engagement Starter Kit is a value-packed, totally free mini planning package for couples like you who are newly engaged and beginning to sort out your wedding plans. But maybe you're already feeling a little overwhelmed and not quite sure where to even begin. Believe it or not, there is a specific formula to experiencing a streamlined, stress-free wedding planning journey, and it has just three key ingredients. 
This week, I'm sharing part one of my engagement starter kit planning package, where you're going to discover the first key to a streamlined and stress-free wedding planning experience. And what we're talking about today can apply to you even if you've been engaged for months and already booked stuff, or maybe even you've finalized most of the big decisions. It's never too late for a heart-to-heart refresh and refocus on the core reasons why you're planning this wedding in the first place. I have parts two, three, and four packaged up and ready for you to binge listen to after today's show, along with a ton of additional bonus resources and free gifts. And I'll say again, this mini planning package engagement starter kit is totally free. To access everything, simply visit wedpodcast.com and look for the pink sign up button that's right at the top of the page. Yes, signing up requires your email address. No, I will not spam email you a hundred times a week. And no, it does not require a credit card or any payment whatsoever. That website one more time is wedpodcast.com. And I can't wait to see you there. Enjoy part one. Why do some engaged couples thrive while so many more struggle through their wedding planning journey stuck in a constant state of stress and overwhelm? Why do a few sail through their engagement 100% confident with their unique decisions while so many engaged couples are lost in feelings of doubt and uncertainty, unsure whether or not they're making the right decisions and trusting the best sources? You're one of the incredibly few who's about to discover the three keys to a streamlined, simplified, and completely fulfilled engagement season. A wedding planning journey where you say goodbye to feeling overwhelmed and you confidently make decisions knowing that you're saving time, money, and stress every step of the way. If you're listening to this life-changing series, then you're here for a reason. You're ready to tune out the noise of the overwhelming wedding planning world and take ownership of your wedding vision, regardless of what anyone else thinks. You want your priorities to take center stage and to stop worrying about what everyone else is doing or what others might think about your wedding choices. You're ready to create a truly unique wedding that's built on intention and connection with your loved ones instead of relying on the outdated checklist of generic advice and ideas that the wedding industry has been serving up for decades. You're ready for your family and friends to walk away from your wedding experience saying to themselves, that was the most meaningful, unforgettable wedding we have ever been to. As you continue to listen to this series that will completely transform your wedding planning journey, you'll start to realize that you've been let down by the $70 billion wedding industry that's simply not adapting to the exciting new shift that's happening in weddings right now. The shift that's allowing couples just like you to design unforgettable, really unique wedding experiences to share with the people they love most. Weddings that are incredibly simple and streamlined to plan, that are bursting with meaningful elements and creative twists, and that don't put you into debt for the next decade. Weddings that genuinely highlight the things that you value and prioritize the most. Look, it's no secret that a lot has changed over the past couple of years, and the opportunities to celebrate and connect with the people we love have an entirely new urgency, importance, and meaning. And that shift has made way for an exciting new way to approach your wedding, giving you the chance to design a once in a lifetime event that highlights your values and your relationships with all the people you love most. Look at Kate and John who are planning a multi-day island wedding celebration that defies all wedding formats and traditions while giving their guests a once in a lifetime opportunity to spend time together, making priceless memories and sharing brand new experiences. Or look at Lauren and Mel who are planning a long wedding weekend with just 40 of their loved ones that includes a rehearsal dinner sunset sailboat cruise to symbolize their love of the ocean 
a giving tree that represents their shared value of generosity, and multiple other unique touch points with their guests, not just at the wedding itself, but also in the months leading up to their wedding so that everyone can connect on a deeper level starting right now. Here's a question for you. How much of your precious time and energy have you been wasting with out-of-date generic wedding resources that are walking you through exactly how to plan? The same exact wedding that all of your friends and family have already been to a dozen times. I'm not kidding when I share that the same checklists and timelines from when I planned my own wedding still show up on the front page of Pinterest and my wedding was almost 13 years ago. Isn't it finally time for a new way? Imagine the impact you could create in your lives and in the lives of your closest family and friends if you made a commitment to designing a wedding celebration that reflects all of the things that you value the most. Imagine the freedom you would feel if you could fine tune your wedding mindset to focus only on the things that matter the most to you and had the confidence to consistently set boundaries and tune out all the rest. The good news is that this shift is incredibly simple for you to implement, but it's also very different from all the other online wedding planning advice out there, which is why most couples miss it. And if you're not experiencing pure confidence, simplicity, and ease in your wedding planning journey so far, then you're probably missing it too. You might be wondering, okay, this sounds great, but how exactly do we tackle feeling overwhelmed and embrace this simplified new way of planning? What are the steps? Well, for starters, these confident, engaged couples have the courage to think outside the box and to say no to the wedding industry's agenda that's causing them to live in comparison syndrome, trapped by crushing overwhelm, ridiculous excess, and unnecessary pressure to do, say, and include all the right things. These couples say no to free wedding checklists that are full of outdated traditions that are meaningless to them and are encouraging them to spend time and money on a bunch of wedding stuff that's not even important to them. They say no to mindlessly scrolling reels on Instagram and TikTok and feeling bad about themselves because they don't have a bottomless budget, a $16,000 flower archway, and a $19,000 custom dance floor. And they say yes to their unique priorities and to standing up for what they value the most. They are confidently taking back control of their wedding plans, and they're carefully aligning their top priorities with every single wedding decision they make. And you can do it too. Because here's the thing, if things don't change and you stay stuck in all that wedding overwhelm, where are you going to be six months or a year from now? Maybe you'll still be engaged and still checking off the boxes, going through the motions and planning that same old wedding that's just like everyone else's. Or maybe you'll already be married. You'll probably have had a really stressful few months that eventually resulted in a nice wedding, but in a few hours, it was all over. The champagne was gone, the food was picked up, the flowers were drooping, and everyone went back to their lives, leaving you with the credit card bill for a bunch of wedding stuff that in hindsight really wasn't even that important to you. How are the millions of cookie cutter wedding planning websites and free resources out there ever going to magically line up with you and your unique one-of-a-kind personality, priorities, and values? Spoiler alert, they're not, and right now, you have a choice. You can stay right here as the overwhelmed, engaged couple who just goes through the motions with the same free wedding planning resources as every other engaged couple out there, stressed out about what other people think, and feeling stuck wishing that you had more time, more money, and that your dream wedding would just magically rise up out of the mess of printouts, 
downloads, emails, reels, and Pinterest boards that you've been staring at for weeks. Or you can step into being the engaged couple who has the confidence to stand up and take ownership of their one-of-a-kind wedding vision so that they can focus on what really matters, connecting with one another and all of their loved ones on the deepest levels possible throughout their entire engagement season, the wedding experience itself, and even beyond. You're about to experience an exciting new way to design your wedding celebration where engaged couples like you are intentional, joyful, confident, and are saving a ton of time, money, and stress by finally cutting through the noise and focusing only on what matters the most. Welcome to the Engagement Starter Kit bonus series from the Wedding Planning Podcast. Hello, I'm Cara Lamorato, and I've been producing and hosting the Wedding Planning Podcast for over six years, helping thousands of engaged couples just like you to streamline and simplify their wedding plans with down-to-earth, thoughtful wedding planning advice that empowers you to take control of your wedding vision from right here, right now, all the way to your wedding day. And in those six years, I've spent an awful lot of time exploring the exact elements that transform your engagement season from a frantic, overwhelming blur into a once in a lifetime opportunity to identify and honor your top priorities and to align the things you value most with an intentional wedding experience that creates deep connections and lifelong memories for you and all of your loved ones. And so here we are in episode one of the Engagement Starter Kit, where I'm going to share the first of three keys to a stress-free, streamlined, and simplified wedding master plan. Earlier in this episode, I shared the unique celebrations that Kate and John and Lauren and Mel designed using this all-new wedding planning framework. And I don't have to tell you that if these couples can take control of their wedding plans and create an incredibly meaningful and unforgettable experience that reflects all of their top values and priorities and encourages a deeper connection with one another and their guests, then you can do it too. How much would your engagement season change if you followed the same simple path they did and used all the same processes, methods, and framework to explore all of your options through a clear lens to confidently make the wedding decisions that are right for you and you were guaranteed to stay on budget from start to finish? Well, you're about to find out because if you're an engaged couple who's serious about creating a meaningful yet simple and affordable wedding, then I'm about to hand you the only wedding game plan that I know of that allows you to reframe your mindset in ways that most couples can't see. To identify and align your personal values and your top wedding priorities in ways that most people never do, and to tie everything together into a truly unforgettable wedding experience that fosters deep connections and leaves a lasting legacy of love with all of your wedding guests. And you can do it without any of the cookie cutter OG advice out there being pushed by the big wedding websites, countless other wedding podcasts, the most popular Instagrammers and TikTokers and thousands of DIY bloggers and YouTube channels. What I'm about to show you next is the first of three keys that only the most intentional, creative, and confident engaged couples seem to be able to unlock. You see, most couples get engaged, are incredibly excited to get started with wedding planning, and they dive in headfirst to free online resources like big wedding websites, blogs, and DIY videos on YouTube. They grab every free wedding checklist they can find, timelines, and they're quickly told that the best dates book fast, that you have to pull the trigger on big vendors like your venue and photographer because they're all gonna be booked up and there's gonna be nothing left for you. 
Now, don't get me wrong, there's a place for free online resources, but when it's the only thing you're relying on, it will quickly lead to wasted time, overwhelm, and mindlessly setting yourself up for a never-ending series of unnecessary expenses. Look at the couple who downloads a free wedding checklist from a major website and starts checking things off the list. They choose a date, book a venue, and dive into all the other stuff, for example, decor. We don't have time here to dissect that entire checklist, so let's just take flowers for an example. The checklist says you need ceremony flowers, an altarpiece, pew and chair bows, flower petals, boutonnieres, corsages, a bridal bouquet, bridesmaids bouquets, flower girl bouquets, reception centerpieces, reception side table decorations, and a tossing bouquet. That's a lot of flowers, especially when I share with you that after this wedding, this very bride admitted that flowers were never even important to her, and she really regretted feeling like she had to spend $5,000 hiring this florist. What this couple missed is incredibly simple, but so few people slow down long enough to see it or take the time to uncover it. Look at couples like Greg and Ryan who are saying no to fancy rental items, expensive place settings, and flowers. And they're saying yes to custom-made suits that they can wear to their rooftop cocktail ceremony and reception. And that's just part of a three-day fully hosted destination wedding in New York City with 15 of their closest loved ones. Or there's Sarah and Blake who could have gone ahead with their super traditional 180 person wedding this summer in Austin, Texas, but they chose to scrap those plans altogether in favor of renting a mansion where they're gonna host a full five day event so that they can spend quality time connecting with the people who they love the most. And that my friend is the first key to a stress-free planning experience. These couples I just shared are not just following a generic wedding checklist. They made a commitment to shifting their wedding mindsets in a really powerful new way. And they're choosing to plan from a place where the entire process is centered around you, your priorities, and what you want out of your wedding celebration. I want you to live your dream wedding experience and the simple truth is that doesn't exist on any free checklist in the entire world. And I'm sorry to share, it's not just going to magically unfold if you visit enough websites, download enough free podcasts, or stare at enough TikTokers. Your dream wedding vision only exists within you and your partner. It just needs to be discovered, but only you can make the commitment to doing that. And unfortunately, just listening to this series without taking action isn't going to be enough. I created the Wedding Planning Podcast and specifically this Engagement Starter Kit series because I want every couple to live a life-changing engagement season and to ultimately step into a completely personalized and unique wedding experience so that they can create an unforgettable wedding that brings them closer to one another and creates lifelong memories with everyone they love the most. And like you, I'm someone who values intentional choices and mindful connections between what you value and the decisions that you make. So the big question is, how do you actually make this shift away from the outdated wedding planning tools and resources that are steering you towards a bunch of overwhelming, unappealing, and overpriced options? And how do you start to focus on the much more important, yet much simpler question of exactly how to create the wedding that you actually want from start to finish? How do you stop feeling overwhelmed and mindlessly checking off boxes from your to-do list and start confidently designing a wedding celebration that truly reflects you and your partner? 
And more importantly, how do you do it right now so that you don't find yourself months into planning only to realize that you've wasted a ton of time and money on a bunch of wedding elements that are not even important to you? And those are great questions and I'm really glad you're asking them because most people never do. The reality is that most couples will stop listening and they won't follow through with this entire series. An exciting new way to design the wedding you want with more freedom and less stress. An easy to follow down to earth method for making confident decisions in less time while spending less money. A complete guide to getting all the things you want most regardless of your budget. It sounds too good and way too simple to be true. And that's why most couples brush this off and miss this once in a lifetime opportunity to design a wedding experience that really reflects their top values and priorities while leaving the stress, decision fatigue, and overwhelm behind. But you are not most couples. You know that your engagement season and wedding celebration can be life-changing and now you hold the first key to designing the wedding that you want. Fine-tuning your wedding planning mindset to your top priorities and values and tuning out the rest. The next three episodes of this series are dedicated to showing you the other keys to designing a unique wedding experience from a place of confidence and joy, knowing every single step of the way that you're making the right decisions for you, your guests, and your budget. I've been producing the Wedding Planning Podcast for over six years now, and I've worked with thousands of couples like you who have chosen to be intentional with their wedding plans who have said no to wedding industry excess and fluff, and who have committed to choosing simplicity versus overwhelm and meaningful connection over empty wedding traditions that aren't important to them. Just by being here right now, you've taken the first step towards designing the wedding that you want, not what the wedding industry wants, not what the overpriced caterers and wedding planners in your area want, and not what your cousins and your friends think you should do. And right now you also have a choice. You can be like most stressed out and overwhelmed engaged couples who throw their hands up in frustration and choose to let that free wedding checklist mentality dictate their priorities. And they waste a ton of time, effort, and money in the process. And if that's you, then unfortunately, I can't help. But if you're the couple who's ready to take the steps that most won't take and actually make the mindset shifts that most never make, then episode number two of the Engagement Starter Kit is waiting to reveal the next key to unlocking the rich, meaningful wedding experience that you're meant to create. Thank you so much for joining me today for part one of the Engagement Starter Kit. And here's some really fun follow-up news. If you want instant access to binge the entire series right now, that is an option. Head to wedpodcast.com and you'll see a coral pink colored button to sign up for the entire Engagement Starter Kit right up at the top of the page. Yes, it is free. Yes, you will need to enter your email address. No, you do not need to enter any credit card info. Not only will you get instant access to the entire Engagement Starter Kit bonus series, I've also tucked lots of extra goodies in there just for you. That website one more time is wedpodcast.com. Look for the sign up button at the top of the page and I cannot wait to see you inside the Engagement Starter Kit. Thank you so much for your support of the Wedding Planning Podcast. I am thinking of you and your partner, all your families and friends, and we'll talk again next week, same time, same place.